Your heart shall be judged. We could do this. Right? Jesus. Oh my gosh. Well, we're we're two down. That stun him? Whirlwind to the void. Is that what you yeah, that's what you need Cloud for. So he can interrupt Whirlwind to the void, so you don't have to collect cards. I'm sick and tired of your freaking funnels! Well, I'd rather deal with that than some of his worst attacks, I'm sure. Yeah. Seriously, the only one that they could get was Cross Slash. I think if you put three clouds together, you gotta get Omni Slash. I'm just saying. Boom! No! Don't judge me! Holy crap. We're doing better. I mean, we're, we're four bubbles down. Whirlwind of the Void! And the deck is gone everywhere. This is like... Ow! Oh. If we don't collect them in a certain amount of time, they disappear, right? I don't know. I forgot. I'll handle this! Uh, that was not the order I wanted, but okay. Well, I guess it works right now. We can make this crap work. I'm sorry, did he say what? What? All right. Okay, so we have Attack Racer on. Doom! Oh my gosh! Yeah, we have to keep that for Whirlwind of the Void. We can do this! Come on, I've come too far! Ragnarok his ass! Whirlwind of the Void! Don't even care! Hit him! Circle reject. Mega flare him into the next stage. Ow! Oh. And he broke it. Of course he did. Because he sucks like that. We're at two bubbles, Andrea. We can do this. Spinny, spinny, spinny! Boom! If you're not a Final Fantasy fan, there's one thing I'm just going to point out right now. Mega Flare is always awesome. Stun his ass. Oh, oh he resisted. Dang it, I should have... Oh I, oh, I thought we interrupted the gale, so... Whirlwind to the void. And there goes our deck. No! Quick, Yugi, go collect your deck. By the heart of the cards. I can't see! See, I always get worried that he's gonna have an attack that like banishes your cards permanently. Because he's a final boss. He has something like that. Oh! He is resisting all of your strike raids. Well. Oh, and he resisted the cross slash as well. Or he interrupted it. Omni laser! <laughs> Let's uh, just get out of here. Oh, this guy sucks. Last health bar. Dang it. There we go. Do we have any heals? Yes, we need an automatic round two. It kick in? Yay! <laughs> Go nuts! Oh fuck! Uh, 
No, whirlwind of the void. Lose no. Okay, at least we got to heal off. It's okay. We can do this. Hail of severance. I don't know where that fire was going, but I hope it comes back. Oh, even further. I refuse to give up now. Yeah, baby. Super mega ultra fist bump. That was so like, please give me the yeah, second baby. chance. Congrats, Andrea. And this is my first ever time flying against this boss. You okay, Riku? Not Riku. I'm a fake. I can't remember why I was created or where or when. All that's inside of me is time with you and Namine. But I know those memories are not real. Gee, Namine, can't you use your magic to put Riku's memory back to normal? It's all right. I'll deal. Wait! Who cares if someone created you? You are you and nobody else. You have your own heart inside you. Those feelings and memories are yours and yours alone. They're special. Sora, you're a good guy. I don't have to be real to see how real your feelings are. That's good enough. Riku! Riku. Can you bring our memories back? Yes. Not remembering something doesn't really mean that it's gone. What do you mean? When you remember one thing, that leads to remembering another. And then another, and then another. Our memories are connected. Many pieces are linked together, like they're in a chain that makes up each of us. I don't actually erase any memories. Just take apart the links and rearrange them. You still have all your memories. So you can put them back together? Yes, but first, I have to undo the chains of the memories I made on my own. After I've done that, I have to gather up the memories scattered across each of your hearts, and then reconnect them. It might take some time but I think it might work. No, it will work, I'm sure. It's my turn to look after you. All right. We all really trust you. Oh, wait a second. You said you'd have to undo the links of the memories you made. But that means... Yes, you won't be able to remember anything about what happened here. Not even you? I'm sorry. It's the only way, I'm afraid.
Sora. You have a choice. You can lose your memories of this castle and reclaim your old ones. Or keep your memories here and give up the memories that you've lost. Do I have to... to choose? Yes. Make me like I was. Oh. Okay. Nobody needs to keep a bunch of memories that aren't real, right? You want to remember all of the people who are really important to you. Anybody would choose that. To remember again, we have to sleep in that? Yes. It's going to take a little time, but I'll take care of you. Gorsh, when we wake up, we won't remember who you are anymore. But how are we going to thank you? Don't worry about that. I'll just make a big note in my journal. And it will say, thank nominate. Oh, good. That makes me feel better. Well, good night then, Nominee. Good night, Goofy. You too, Sora. Okay. All of this may have started with a lie, but I really am glad that I could meet you, Sora. Yeah. Me too. When I finally found you, and even when I remembered your name, I was happy. The way I felt then, that was no lie. Goodbye. No, not goodbye. When I wake up, I'll find you. And then there will be no lies. We're gonna be friends for real. Promise me, Naminé. You're going to forget making that promise. If the chain of memories comes apart, the links will still be there, right? So the memory of our promise will always be inside me somewhere. I'm sure of it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, it's a promise. Good. Until later. A promise. Huh. Sora, some of your memories links are deep in the shadows of your heart and I won't be able to find them. But don't worry. You made another promise to someone who you could never replace. She is your light. The light within the darkness. Remember her, and all the memories lost in the shadows of your heart will come into the light. Another promise. Look at the good luck charm. I changed its shape when I changed your memory. But when you thought of her just once, it went back to the way it was.
Kyrie. My friends. Namine? Don't worry. You might forget about me. But with our promise, I can come back. A promise is a promise. Yes. One day the light. It will be ours, and it will bring us together. Till then, I'll be in your heart. Right. Forgotten, but not lost. All right. So there you go, everybody. That is the full story for Sora of the events of Chain of Memories. Now, that doesn't mean we're done as there is a completely second section done with Riku. Not the replica that we just barely saw, but Riku also goes to Castle Oblivion and has his own events uh, throughout that castle. So there was actually something that I probably cut you off of, uh, this being the first time you faced off against that form of Marluxia. Oh yeah, this is this is like been the first ever attempt of playing this game. I mean, I'm play Chain of Memories on the GBA, but I've never gotten very far in it. And when I heard this came out to PS2, I had a cop I have a copy, but I've actually never played it until up to this point. So this is a first time experience going through this whole entire game for me. Very cool. So so your final thoughts on it are I enjoyed the game just for the story and you know I'm not the biggest fan of the whole card mechanic, but I'm not saying it was Gee, it's almost like you're with the majority of Kingdom Hearts fans. But I'm not saying I hated it, but uh, No, it it's just a bad implementation. There have actually been well, really good card games that have come out. Playing in Japan. it on the GBA is a little bit more reasonable to play as that kind of a mechanic. Probably because that mechanic was built for, for that, the GBA. but when you play it in 3D, you're so used to playing one or two in your mind, but you forget that you have to implement the card mechanic in this too. Well, and the other thing to consider is like, I think it was an afterthought to bring Chain of Memories to PS2. Because then at that point, I, I think the reason they did it was Square Enix noticed a lot of people were confused by Kingdom Hearts 2. Because a lot of people skipped Chain of Memories. Um, they and never the realized next... this was a part of the story that would Yeah, be, well, unfortunately, it's because, you know, game series kind of have a pattern of that. There are very few handheld entries that are connected uh, to the overall mythos of a series. So a lot of people bypassed it because, A, they didn't have a handheld and they were only interested in gaming on a console. And, and as soon as they got to two, then they, they were ultimately confused. Yeah, they didn't realize there was actually a, a reason how everything played up to but, two. But look at it from this perspective. If they just adopted the card mechanic and kept everything as is, would that have taken that long to develop? Not really. No. But if they took it out and put it a Kingdom Hearts engine, then you're probably looking at that being Kingdom Hearts 2, not Kingdom Hearts 2. So there, there's a rhyme and a reason to it. <coughs> uh, my thoughts are that, I, I again, I like the story and what they're trying to tell, but I kind of have the same problem with you, is that the card game mechanic works in so many other games, but not here. Um, it may be worked for the GBA, but it's it's kind of that weird that weird element that you don't feel needs to be there in a PS2 game. So Well, I think um being able to implement the cards, but the execution on the GBA is probably no better than the this one to be frankly honest because yeah. if you fire your attack one way, you can't it won't automatically lock on to where the enemy is. So right. you could miss the attack altogether, but this one, it kind of fixed it where if you shoot in one direction, sometimes you're more likely to get redirected to your enemy. That's true. And 
the other thing too to consider is that you know square enix isn't usually the one that would do the card game mechanics so they they definitely weren't experienced with it and thankfully they learned their lesson and the the handheld entries after were basically kingdom hearts games so like there was there was no adoption of new mechanics aside from coded yeah. And but here, Coded was made for mobile and phones. And here we get introduced to our new... Pl- um, you mean the guy character. who took all the car- the parking tickets? Oh, yeah. He dropped... Sora dropped him off to him for some T- reason. Totally. I didn't realize. Totally. It totally happened. No, he dropped him off to somebody who was else in this castle that we won't speak of who... So we- I, I wish I could say that this is the end and we're officially done and we can move on to other things. But like I said, there's a completely different campaign involving Riku in Castle Oblivion. And everybody sorry. looks so mean. Yeah, sorry. We took away some of your guys' party here, so. It's all right. They were a bunch of dumbasses anyway. <laughs> but we'll bring back Axel later because he's an endearing character. There is always sleep between part and meat with our usual words on the usual street. So let us part like we always do, and in a world without you... I'll dream of you. When I come to, let us meet with our usual words on the usual street. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this playthrough. Like I said, we're not done yet, but we are going to go ahead and take care of Riku's playthrough next time. So we'll see you guys then.